Hey everybody, what's up? It's Chris Young for Gander RV and Outdoors, seated inside the 2020 East to West Silver Lake 25 KRB. I'm a big fan of how Forest River produces their travel trailers. The East to West line does a great job of combining that durability with affordability. And since they have such a small carbon footprint because of their reuse of manufacturing materials, they make a great impact on the environment because they know when you go out camping, you wanna make sure that it's still there. And besides, when you do go out camping, don't you wanna enjoy and reconnect with people? Take a look at this spacious 48 inch dinette that I'm seated in right now. This is the spot with this beautiful giant campsite window where you could really reconnect with the family and friends. Put the cell phones down, talk to the loved ones, and when was the last time you got out and actually had fun in the great outdoors? You're gonna find that this 25 KRB, which stands for King Bed Rear Bath, Yes, no slide in this travel trailer and it comes with a king size bed. The space is phenomenal. You got plenty of room here to easily fit four people comfortably. This does reduce down into a bed and you have storage on the full extension solid wood panels on the ball bearing drives under both sides of the bed. That's a great spot for your tackle boxes, your grab and go bags, extra shoes, clothes, the whole nine. We got shaker style cabinets, solid wood with the brushed nickel fixtures all the way around giving you plenty of space to do that storage. That'd probably be a good spot since it is campsite above this to store the plates, so forth, maybe some of the camping gear. Got the Furion AM FM control panel right there. Now this does have dual zone speakers, so you can play music in here as well as on the outside. We got the HDMI input and USB. So if you want to plug your cell phone in, plug a TV in, you can have the audio going in and out. And speaking of TV, Right over here on the back panel is where we have our, not only our hookups, but the TV mount as well. Got both cable, got the 1080 right there, power port. We move into the spacious rear bath, which when I first thought about the 25 KRB having no slide, I thought, okay, the bathroom's probably gonna be pretty cramped. But as you can see here on the toilet, lots of leg room. I'm not gonna be cramped. Got the foot flush here, large single basin, sink with the brush nickel fixtures, plenty of countertop space, and a GFCI outlet here. So if you want to plug in your hair dryer, you know, your towel warmer, because that's how I roll, easy spot to do right there. Mirrored double vanity, lots of good space with the raised lip, making sure that if you do have things you want to keep in here. Th during transit, these raised lips really help make sure things do not fall out. And look how bright this room is. If you notice when we came in, there is a light that comes on when you walk in because it's motion sensor, but the main light here, we didn't even cut on because you don't really need it with this giant skylight over the glass enclosed corner shower, single surround, plenty of headroom, thanks to the giant inlay here, lots of natural light coming in, brush nickel fixtures all the way around here too, with the shower hose, the controls, residential style and feel to the paneling and plenty of leg room. But my favorite part, glass doors, making sure you get as much privacy as you want. And when it comes to space, now I'm a big fan of the grab and go bags. I like to have a spot where I can grab my backpack. This is a great area for that, plus your towels, your storage. And if you take a look down here at the bottom, this is our vents for the heater. What Forest River did was they put the vents inside the paneling so that when you're walking on the floor, you don't have those soft spots. And we got the residential, slip resistant, easy to clean flooring, wood paneling on the eight cubic foot fridge, which runs on both gas and electric, plenty of space, drinks, foods. If you do go out hiking, go out fishing, you get a great catch. Look at all the space that you could have in there. And then when it comes time to prep it, you got the three burner Furion stove right here with the grill style cooktop. I'm always talking about, I like the grill style because of how easy it is to move this around without knocking stuff into each other. It's gonna get a little loud, but look at that. Would you just look at it? Look how much space we have. Black on black appliances making a great match. Plus you got the 16 inch Furion stove there. Seamless one piece countertop leading the way into the stainless steel deep well farmhouse style sink with the suspension spray nozzle. I am a huge fan of these because a lot of times in the campers, if they do have a spray nozzle, you only get about this much room. But with the suspension, you could do full coverage and you have plenty of prep space. More of that solid wood cabinetry with the shaker style cabinets. Great room right there for the pantry materials, plates, pots, the whole nine. We got more space underneath. Once again, full extension on the solid wood cabinetry, ball bearing drives, giving you smooth transition and solid connection when you're going in. These aren't gonna open up. 
Now, I like to call this the Lovebird camper because this jackknife sofa with the TV right there, once you get done with dinner, come sit over here, watch the movie. This does recline into a sleeper. I don't think you could fit two people on here, but one person on this plush, beautiful couch could easily sleep comfortably. You got space underneath as well. Two people on the dinette, more storage up top. But the big feature, my favorite parts about all East to West Silver Lakes, the king size bed in the master. This is a 72 by 80 true king. So if you've been looking for that upgraded camping experience, you want a comfortable feel with a comfortable night's sleep, you want to come check out the East to West Silver Lakes because where are you going to get a king bed, man? I mean, really? And look, strut supported storage underneath. We got shop, solid wood shaker style cabinets on the ward storage on both sides and side opening up top. Great storage space, great room, dual USB charging ports on both sides. Plus you got nightstand storage uh, and power outlets as well. So if you have a CPAP machine reading light, you got great spot to put those for when you're traveling. Make sure that when you do go out, you have everything you need and it's comfortable. And with these 81 inch high ceilings, great insulation all the way around. You're going to do great making sure that the climate that you want is maintained. We've got a 13 and a half thousand BTU air conditioner sitting on top. That's going to do a fantastic job of cooling this whole unit. And when you're ready to watch TV at night, you sure can. Got the backer right here, cable hookup right there, power port right here. So uh, I'm just not a fan of uh, when I do go camping, having the TV be across the bed because I don't like looking across. I like it being straightforward. So that's a good little addition. Uh, we got our control panel right here, running out our awning. Got the water heater, water pump, awning lights. You can also check the battery levels as well as your tanks. And I'm always talking about where do we put our stuff. Well, how about right there? Now, as you can see, this was gonna be a fishing trip until you decided you wanted some more information on the 2020-25 KRB, but that's okay. I love talking about the east to west. So we've seen the inside of this beautiful trailer. What do you say we go check out the outside? Okay, so here we are on the outside, the 2020 East to West Silver Lake 25 KRB. I'm gonna start right up front because one of the most important things to get when setting up, you talk about ease of camping, power tongue jack. You don't know how handy these things are until you have one. We got twin 20 pound LP tanks, diamond plated rock guard underneath these uh, super flex roof that goes all the way through the top and the insulation in here is great. We got the R7 foam core insulation, really gonna help us keep the temperature where we want it. Now, people ask me, do you really have the pass-through storage enough to handle what we wanna do? So I wanted to show you this. I got a nice long fishing rod I wanted to stick in here and I got a little tackle box. Wanted to show you, look how much space you still have left. With this finished off pass-through storage with the lights, you got plenty of room for everything you need for the fishing trip, the hunting trip, uh, hiking, biking. If you got beach chairs, towels, it's a great spot for it. Now, when you go off grid, you got solar panels, you got your quick connect right there. These are set up for solar ready. Beautiful 12 foot awning with the LED light underneath, sealed tinted safety glass all the way around. I'd mentioned the dual zone speakers when I was on the inside. Here we go here. And if we take a look underneath, this is a sealed enclosed underbelly. Got your leveling jacks for the front right there. Fold up stairs right here. Extended grab handle, which also works as a door lock there. Double axle on the 15 inch aluminum wheels uh, with the Dexter Easy Lube axles here. And that extra wide berth is really gonna help when you're driving down the road to keep that suspension and that sway at a minimum. If you want to set up for the outside entertainment under the beautiful awning, you absolutely could. Power port right here, cable port right there. LP Quick Connect so that when you set up your gas grill, you can easily just plug into the LP Quick Connect and cook right off the tanks that you have up front. Four by four sewer hose storage right here, spare tire mount on the back. And we take a look at those arch ceilings. Yes, that does help us give us that 81 inch high on the inside, but more than that, that's gonna keep the elements off of this travel trailer. And with those three inch nozzles on both sides, that's gonna help keep the rain, the snow and everything off of you and off of it, because you wanna make sure you keep those elements off. Set up for backup camera as well, so our specialists at RV, Gander and Outdoors can talk to you a little bit more about that. Come around to the off-camp side. I'm a big fan of how good Forest River does with their labeling, making it easy to use and easy to operate. Wastewater holding tank, sewer outlet connection, and low point drain right here. Gray, label by gray, black label by black. And talk about a handy feature, black tank flush is a must. Gotta have it. 30 amp service plug right here. 
more of those beautiful tinted sealed safety windows all the way around, fresh water connection, and the fresh water drains or the low points are right there underneath. And then we come around to the exterior command. This was a nice feature I wasn't expecting on the 25 KRB. Internal city water connection, as well as your stable connect, your cable and satellite connection, sprayer ports with the port hose there, and a power connection right there. That's just a nice little touch. But with any travel trailer that you get, the most important thing that you want to look at is the info panel. For example, gross vehicle weight for this one, 75, 65 pounds, 7,500 pounds. Ask your RV specialist again, or RV and outdoors, what does that mean? This is what my vehicle can tow. More importantly, this is what my vehicle can stop. So is this the right camper for me? But leave me some comments down below and let me know, what did you think of this 2020 East to West Silver Lake 25 KRB? For that couple or that small family that's looking out to upgrade that camping experience, get out and about and adventure more, I think this is a fantastic option. Lightweight, fantastic insulation, beautiful layout, and king size bed. You can't beat that. But leave me some comments down below, down below and let me know what you think. I love hearing from you. And please like and subscribe. I'm Chris Young for Gander RV and Outdoors. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. And as always, Come check out a camper. I'll see you.